Traditionally, the Ardash is really quite a quiet area, much quieter than the areas around it, La Provence, for example. But recently there's been change in the air, with the development of new museums and new discoveries. From vineyards to ancient Roman sites, to the decision to make available new archaeological discoveries, like the 35,000-year-old Grotte de Chauvet, the Ardèche offers points of interest that are commanding attention worldwide. La Mironde is a farmhouse built approximately 200 years ago from natural stone and has been renovated uh, with the use and skills of local artisans. Commanding dramatic views from the Rhone Valley to the French Alps, La Mironde sits on a plateau surrounded by farmland and a large private orchard and garden. The house is extremely spacious and combines traditional features with contemporary standards of design. La Miron contains three separate accommodation areas. There's the Orient Suite, the Garden Suite, and the large family cottage. In the spacious living areas, the secret garden orchard, secluded terraces, and a multitude of private areas, guests can enjoy some of the most sought after, treasured, and difficult to find commodities, space, quiet, and privacy. I bought the house in the 1980s. At the time, I was ballet director in Lyon. And tradition was, at that time in Lyon, everybody had a house in the country. So I thought, as ballet director, I should have one as well. I found this wonderful house in the Ardèche, La Mironde. In the following freelance years, Gray directed over a dozen operas, choreographed a string of successful ballets worldwide, from the Joffrey Ballet, or the Met in New York, to the Tanzforum in Germany, to the New Zealand Ballet. In those years, I used La Mironde, especially during the summers, as a type of retreat. I'd come here to prepare my work, to read, listen to music, work with designers, everything that's involved with the process of building a new production. Highlighting his own background in the arts, he delights in his own brand of cultural tours, where guests are offered the option of a company days out to explore the archaeological, cultural, and culinary secrets of the region. Food is about bringing people together. Food is about creating the atmosphere where new friendships can develop. And in my case, it's to offer a deeper understanding of this region through the food of the region. Guests staying for a week or more in the cottage or the bed and breakfast suites receive a welcome dinner included in the price of accommodation. On the following nights, a table d'hôte, four-course dinner of freshly cooked delicious regional produce from local markets, regional wines included, will be prepared and served if the guests so desire. One of the big problems today with tourism is that travelers are so often rushed around from one monument and church to the next. But there's so much more interesting ways to explain history and the regions, especially through excursions that are linked together by a common theme. Day trip adventures back into history, such as the newly opened Roman sites and museum at Alba, the breathtaking Pont du Gard aqueduct, the local vineyards, even one that sits on a Roman site and has reinstated the ancient Roman winemaking techniques. And from January 2015 on, the grand opening of the oldest art pieces of mankind, the 35,000-year-old wall paintings of the Grotte du Chauvet. These are all strung together on a theme that the guests are guided through to get a new sense of the region's ancient and recent history.